Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is the start of a huge journey here on this YouTube channel. A year-long episodic quest to collect every single Halo hero that has ever existed. Not a small task by any means. We are far from complete right now. I hope you enjoyed episode zero, our primer series for this adventure, where I cataloged every single one of these amazing figures that I have in front of me. Halo Heroes, I really do believe, are some of the most detailed, articulated figures on the planet. So it's been a really exciting time collecting these so far, and a journey that I wanted to share with you all as I get them all. And we are so far away. We have so much still to do. But fear not, we have reinforcements on the way. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes, all ordered from around the world, mixed in from different things I've scored in Hong Kong as well, and these seven boxes are going to begin our journey. Each episode I'll unpack one of them, and slowly we're going to fill out this collection. Episode one is no joke, I have a really special parcel for today. In the primer episode, I showed you all of my figures so far. The first box on our journey has some very special figures inside. I wanted to start off with a bang, you know, set the expectations, raise the bar for for this series. So the figures in here have a theme. Every single one of these boxes, I've organized the heroes into different themes. The first box has nobility surrounding it, pulsing through its contents, being noble, a noble Spartan. I wonder who could be inside here. Okay, so as we will always do with this series, we're gonna throw on the macro lens. Let's go take a closer look. Right then, for the first box, we have two sealed Halo heroes and three unsealed. Okay, I'm keeping it blurry. I want the comment section filled with your predictions. Oh, can you tell me what it is yet? We've got to start off this entire series it's Spartan George. I mean, what a great way to start. Honestly, this guy's been sat in my desk for a long time. I wanted to open him on camera, and then the thought of the idea of doing this series just made it perfect. Honestly, perfect. So this is George 052, and this is part of Halo Hero Series 9. So quite late on, in Series 9, you've got Captain Key, Sese Refumi, Graves ODST, Spartan Soldier, and Warmaster. Pretty good, honestly. Honestly, let's break open that George. This whole episode, episode one, is focused around noble team. So you're gonna see them showing up quite a lot, I think. <laughs> All right, we've got his shoulders, they come complete and ready for combat. Honestly, like there's pretty much no assembly required. They did George really well, you know? They did a really bang up job with George. I love that metallic green. It's way better than we got with the drone outbreak set. This is way nicer. Shout out to the silver detailing on his shoulders. It's is a great touch. I love that chest. I love the way it wraps around the back. His sort of like, it almost his headrest for when he's just chaining this massive machine gun. I think the chain gun could have had a bit more detail. It's literally just this yellow. It's, it's not too bad. We'll build the base plate. And yes, uh, you'll hear me say quite a few times, I absolutely love series one to nine base plates. And I don't like the new ones, but they have slightly redeemed themselves. Now they've announced Halo Hero series 15. The base plates are less about the series now and more about the factions that the characters belong to. That is Spartan George 052. George needs some leadership, you know? He doesn't know where to go. He needs someone to follow. That's why we're bringing in more reinforcements with Spartan Carter. Green base plate at hand. This is just, ah, oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this one. I got Spartan Carter quite recently from my buddy Matthew in Hong Kong. He scored it me. I think he bought it uh, many, many years ago, probably when it was quite cheap online. But yeah, he let it go for basically, basically for free, to be honest. Carter was one of the cheapest things he charged me for because it was just sort of one thing that I said I really wanted and he just sort of let it go as, uh, as a nice favor to me 
almost. He's a really great guy. One of the only examples of paint application on the legs. Usually that is not the case, so that's really nice to see. And really just paint application everywhere. This Carter has a lot of detail, a lot to show off. Carter A259 with that fantastic, re really just showing off the reach customization, to be honest. Like, I think that was the main goal here. It was the main goal when they released Taylor Reach. Like, all of Noble Team were just kitted out in their own personal way. It was really to show off that your Spartan can be anything, even in the campaign. So, wow, don't they look like a great duo? Hell yeah, bud. Hell yeah. But they need more help. The Covenant have invaded Reach, guys. They need some more reinforcements. So, let's bring in the one, the only, the mythical Emil a239. Yeah, guys, I'm really no expenses spared in this video. I'm going all guns are blazing with Noble Team. <laughs> All guns are blazing. Let's go. Halo Hero Series 8. We've got the Master Chief with the sort of frost uh, damage, I guess. Halsey with Cortana, Spartan Recruit, Centurion, and Storm Jackal. They're all honestly really solid figures. Uh, you know, the Halsey didn't really stand out for me, but it is just a Halsey. Um, it's something that you do need as a, as a lore guy, as a Halo collector. You should have a Halsey. I also do have the rod for George, but I mean, this guy does not need a back support. He's already got a big backpack and... Uh, chain gun. He's all good. All right, here is Emil. Ah, yeah, man. I mean, there are a lot of Emils. We've seen three or four Emils released now, but nothing comes close to this one. He's got those red detailings on his arm. He's got silver scratches all over. His visor looks excellent. The first time Emil ever came out with the mongoose, unfortunately, most of his visors were just like really bad. Like anybody that any like old school collector will know what I'm talking about. The old Emil visors were terrible, terrible. You couldn't even really see the skull. Of course, the legendary Emil couldn't go anywhere without his Kukri knife. Ah, even that knife is super detailed, man. I love the end of it. This is such a quality figure. Can you believe it? One video. <laughs> One video. You want to see something funny? You want to try me? You're thinking, oh, this can't get any more ridiculous. You want to try me? Oh, oh, who's who's this, George? Oh, let's let's go let's go check it out. All right. There's something fishy going on there, George. You want to inspect the pro? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's Spartan George 052. I'm seeing double over here. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's George, guys. It's George. And also, it's episode one of a series that I hope will last like 20 episodes, more than a year long. I gotta start off strong, man. I gotta make a statement. You know how you make a statement? Two Georges, Carter and an Emil. That's how you make a statement, guys. And yeah, again, he just has the most ludicrous shoulder. I definitely always had, like, when I was playing Reach, I would always have one shoulder more ridiculously large than the other one. I'm also recording this the day before they're about to show off all of the ranked multiplayer stuff. So Halo, Halo's gonna be the talking point, man. Like, everybody's gonna be talking about Halo. Pop his pelvis in, and George is ready to rock. Ready to rock. If somebody, like, tuned into the video and then they, they didn't listen for a second. They were like, oh, he's already built George. Yeah, he has. <laughs> yeah, damn right about that. He's already built George. Two Georges and a meal and a Carter. We're going to unpackage one more figure today. There's five in total today because, you know, Noble Team needs something to fight. They need something to do battle with. So we've got a big baddie today, the Remnant Hunter. You know, if it's just one figure, it may as well be something that's a challenge to take down. It's not gonna be too difficult, you know, but it, it's gonna be difficult. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. These Remnant Hunters are made of, uh, well, <laughs> I was gonna say made of steel. No, they're made of worms, but you get what I mean. Uh, they're not gonna do very well if I'm putting on the legs backwards though. Oh no, they swivel all the way around. Fair enough. Pop that head on there, and then we gotta get his spines kitted out. Finish this guy off with his shield and he's ready to try and take out noble team he might injure one of them but he's uh, he's not gonna get very far and yes if you did see in the first minute of this episode we do have two already so this is our third remnant hunter hunters hunting pairs so maybe i need a fourth now but <laughs> i think three is okay for now five figures and this is also something very special indeed let me show you why 
Ladies and gentlemen, today is a joyous day. Not only did I get my third hunter to add to my gang of Let Golo, not only did I get three members of Noble Team that I've never had before, like these are brand new figures to me, I also officially completed my Halo Heroes Noble Team. Ah, oh, look at them all. What a beautiful gang. They look absolutely fantastic together. Some clearly more detailed than others, uh, especially this Noble Six, I think, loses some points for me. But the Emil and the that Carter, even the metallic green of that George. The metallic green doesn't really match the June, but I love his head. Fellas, lads, ladies, we've, we've got Noble Team in Halo Heroes form. Finally, after all these years. I took my time, but they are all mine now. So shout out to that. I might do a diorama displaying Noble Team very soon. And you know, why not have two Georges? <laughs> you may as well. That officially completes episode one of the quest for every Halo hero. Five figures added to the army. So that concludes episode one of the quest for every Halo hero. Six more episodes in this series, and then we're gonna do way, way more once we get more figures. Thanks so much for the support and the channel growth and 35K. This is all just a dream to me. I'm absolutely in my element right now. Episode two's theme is a tribute to Halo 3. So I would love you to comment down below trying to make your predictions of what Halo heroes I'm going to unbox in that episode. You guys stay awesome, you stay safe, and George, Carter, and Emil, oh why not all of Noble Team, get in here guys, they're signing off.